Aha, das ist ein Domort. My orders are to observe the ruin, not help you mount a suicidal rescue mission. Then you can observe me kicking every fetching cultist's ass standing between me and my little brother. Big Willy, listen. Who are you? Another of these useless Leowin layabouts? Leowin <laughs> layabouts. No, an adventurer like me. Don't tell me, Zigira roped you into this mess too. My little brother and I answered a job posting seeking adventurers to help explore a newly discovered ruin. Only once the expedition got underway and we were all split up, our employers turned on us. I barely got away. Free my little brother and the others before something terrible befalls them. I don't know if I can do this on my own, but I have to try. Can I count on your help? Well, were all the questions just morbid <laughs> curiosity? I can pay if I have to. There were five, in addition to me, who got duped into this. My brother, Liam, Eolof, a Nord warrior, Adia, a high elf researcher, Dejos, an Argonian scout, and Galor, a wood elf adventurer. Other than my brother, I don't know a lot about them. Not much. Zagira, the woman who hired us, was charming. I didn't buy a story that her expedition was for study, but she paid half our fee up front. I figured they were just treasure hunters looking for plunder. We had no idea they were a cult. About the time they said, don't kill her, we need her for the ritual while trying to wrestle me to the ground. Probably saved my life, though. I fought twice as hard knowing they were taking it easy on me. No one else escaped that I know of. We didn't get far with our expedition before things went sour, but the ruin was in pretty bad shape. You'll need a grapple bow to get anywhere quickly. Fortunately, <laughs> I have a spare. Oh, get this. They're simple enough to use if you've never tried one. Just line up your sights with a suitable anchor point, release the bolt, and get ready to fly. Don't worry, they're pretty much designed to do all the work. The worst you'll have to worry about is underestimating the pull and spraining your neck. All right, but remember, you already agreed to help me. It'd be rude to back out now. But seriously, I need your help. Please don't change your mind. It's Daedric, in origin. Our employer claimed it was recently uncovered, but I have a hard time believing no one noticed until now. And despite its condition, it doesn't seem that old. Barely any overgrowth at all. None of it makes any sense. A hundred years old at most. I couldn't tell you who built it or how it came to be demolished, though. I didn't get much time to study it before those fetching cultists tried to throw a sack over my head and drag me off. Hmm. Be careful. I saw a lot more cultists during my escape than the ones who led me here. Get on up there, here, some of Kyllähän tätä ei tarvi... Ne kompanionit voi kuitenkin voisi tehdä heti alussa ilman, että ei tarvii... ...pääjuonta yhtään, niin kuin tavata eteenpäin. Tää on itse asiassa aika hyvä. Tää on aika hyvä, aika hyvä kirja.
It wasn't like this before. We should hurry. The bridge is out, but that support looks sturdy enough for the grapple bow. Siis se on tänne jousi, minä saan ammut. Tätä ei osaa kans käyttää. The base camp should be... Eoloth! What are those fetchers doing to him? That's Eoloth. One of the other adventurers Zagira duped with the setup. They've got him strung up like a new life pony gua. Survey stones my ashy ass. That's a sacrifice if I've ever seen one. We've got to do something. Zagira had us escorting her scholars around the area to place those so-called survey stones. Supposedly, they would get the layout of this place in an instant. I damn well plan to try. It'll be dangerous, though. For Eolov, most of all. That ritual is already feeding off of him somehow. The sudden shock of destroying the stone might kill him. We could try weakening the ritual before ending it entirely. That array by Yolov seems to be the heart of the ritual, but the magic is being drawn to another focal point nearby. Destroying that might lighten the load on Yolov and the backlash of ending the ritual by force. It's the best chance of saving. We need to stop that ritual. The sooner the better, but Yolov's chances of surviving go up exponentially if we try picking it apart carefully instead of smashing the central array right at the start. The grapple bow should help us search around. I don't know it. I'm making an educated guess. Daedrology is my main field of study, though I tend to avoid getting caught up in their worship and rituals. Mostly, I'm fascinated why anyone would join these fetching cults in the first place. I took an interest in the anticipations of the Tribunal and my ancestors' worship of them before the three rose to godhood. Dark Elves aren't the only ones who revere Daedra alongside Divines. But now's not the time for a philosophy. Mirri on kyllä must tummahaltia, niin ää, niillä on aika hyvä tulisuojaus. Mirri on vähän haavoittunut. You don't have to tell me twice. It worked! Sorry if that sounds too much like surprise, but I couldn't be sure if that would be enough to save Olaf's life until we tried it. If the cult is doing this to the others, we should be able to free them too, if we're careful. It was definitely a Daedric ritual, but not your typical sacrifice. Offerings to the princes are usually quick and brutal. This was much more purposeful. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish, but they were using Yorloth's soul to power it. The Swits didn't tell us much of their plans before stabbing us in the back, but I've got a rough idea where they were taking the other stones. If we head out the other side of these corridors, we should be on the right path. That was... Horrible. Felt like my soul was getting torn out of me, little by little. <sighs> Trying to pitch me into Orki's gnarled teeth. Or Dagon's, rather. Felt like all the air was sucked out of my lungs. Would have killed me if you hadn't come along. Or was it all... I'm just hired muscle. I don't meddle with magic. They... they were talking, though. ...about positioning the other stones. They sent each of us as an escort, split us up. If they got the better of me, I'm sure the others are in just as much trouble now. Haven't felt this bad since I nearly drowned in the sea of ghosts. But I can feel my strength coming back. I... I think I'll be good enough to move once I've got my breath.
Okei, okay, joten Eternal Guardian tekee niinkun... Maagista damagea tai Wild Guardian tekee niinkun... Fyysistä damagea. Pikkasen enemmän vahinkoa toi tekee. Toi, kun se kuolee, niin se syntyy suuresta, mikä on sanotaan aika hyvä. Ja niin jo, nyt mulle tuli tää, että mä saan itse asiassa... Settiä tähän näin, mitä mä voin vaihtaa. Täytyy karhu olla kuitenkin, ettei se vaan katoa yhtäkkiä. I recognize that journal. It belonged to Ardia. Well, I'll be. Ardia actually made a break for it. She's the last one I'd have expected to escape. Two left feet, that one. Much as I'd like to believe she made it out. Somehow I doubt it. Honestly, I'm impressed she made it this far, but... My gut tells me she's still here. I, I think we should keep looking for the rest of those sacrificial stones. Whoever's still bound up in the cult's rituals is in the great... It's getting to the point that I hardly recognize this place. It's like the sky is on fire and everything's scorched. Did the cult come here just to destroy this place? That hardly makes any sense, but Daedra worship too often doesn't. It's possible this is all just a side effect of the ritual, not its intent. Who knows? Maybe their magic isn't just feeding on the souls of those they've captured, but everything here. Lava? And look, those trees! The shifting is more drastic here. 
tää niinku osittain Deadlands ja osittain Tamrielia. Tänne ka kaataa myös ne. Nää, nää taas heikentää. Like they caught Ardia after all. We need to free her. No. We need to free Ardia from that ritual before it drains her soul completely, even if it kills her. Still, we should look for focal crystals nearby that are drawing power from her. Destroying them is the only way to save her life. We need to free I mean, stopping the ritual prematurely might kill her, but there are fates worse than death. If her soul is drained entirely from her body, it won't be left to the mercy of the divines. It'll probably wind up in the clutches of oblivion. Drawing power from the ritual. Let's keep looking. Meeting him will have to die for me. Steady. Normally, I love new experiences. <laughs> it's why I got into exploring. Not that one. Never, ever again. Oh, I thought I'd never see that again. Thank you. I have a great deal to add to it now. I think it's good to record all you can, good and bad. It forces you to think about what you've seen and done. It makes you more mindful of how events shape you. Zigira was yelling at her followers about jeopardizing the foothold when I was trying to escape. I don't quite get what she meant, but I think they're turning this place into their stronghold. And I saw Zigira when they caught me. The real Zigira. Among her followers, she dropped the mask she'd been wearing. She's a Daedra. These cultists are the usual misguided fools dabbling with things they don't really understand. They're true believers. I'll never forget how they howled for her adulation. It looks like Ardia will be all right. Hopefully she can make a successful escape this time. I can't be certain, but Dijo, Scarlor, and my little brother Liam are still missing. 
We have to assume they've been captured and bound like the other two. We need to stop these rituals, and not just for their sakes. I have a theory about the purpose of these rituals. The changes to the land, the sky, the blasted heat. I think this place is being overtaken by another plane. If I had to guess, I'd say it's becoming the Deadlands. I think this ruin isn't actually part of Nern. More like a piece of our world bottled up, and the cult is trying to fill the bottle from another source. Shriven. I've read accounts of his happening, but I've never seen it myself. This ravaged body is all that's left of Galor. His soul gone somewhere far worse. This is what will happen to the others. To my little brother. Right. You're right. This isn't the time to lose it. There's still hope for the others. Galor couldn't have wandered far like this. There must be another ritual site nearby. Let's go. Niin voi tässä pelissä olla tämmöistä normaalia hyppelyä. Vaan pitää olla tämmöinen hieno jousi, jousi, jolla voi niinku hypätä paikkaan, minkä pelin kehittäjät on määrännyt, niin tänne voi hypätä. Joo, voihan sillä siis tosi hieno pojaa. Niillä voi ihan kätevän, mutta siinä on tosi vähän pel pelattavaa sitten. Siis, miksi tässä pelissä on sitten tämmönen hyppy, jos ei sitä käytetä? Et okei, sä pääset niin kivestä yli helpommin hyppäämällä. Mut se, se ei ole se ei ole pelielementti. Se helpottaa vaan kulunnista. Mikä nää on ryhtänyt Argoniaan, eli tää oli vähän niinku periaatteessa vähän yllättävää ratkaisu. Tuottakaa nyt. Niinpä. But I did not expect the Dark Elf to stick her neck out for me. Dark Elves have not been kind to my egg here. Niin, no se pitää tän saman asia. And I have not been kind to theirs in turn. I see I judged her too harshly. 
I should apologize to her and her brother, if he still lives. He was taken prisoner by Zagira, personally. To the heart of the vault, she said. Further down this path, where it leads, I cannot say. I don't even recognize this place anymore. I only know it dries my scales worse than Ebonheart. Para mí, Ebonheart. Lisa no tiene orilla. Sí, es toda la repetición. Well, my kind, but I'm glad. I wouldn't wish what happened to poor Garlo or on anyone. Liam, hang in there, little brother. We'll find you. We seem to be getting close to the heart of the cult's plot. Other than the ruins, the terrain here is unrecognizable from where we came from. I'd wager that's where we'll find him. And Zagira. No, I don't care about that hooded viper. I just want my little brother back. But if she stands in our way, I'll gladly kick her fetching ass back to oblivion. Mielenkiintoinen pyörimistäppi. Siinä neljällä aseella se on vähän niinku... Jää. Miten ne kultistit kulkee täällä, jos ei niillä ole tollasia jousia? Sekira! Give Liam back and maybe I won't fetching kill you! Allow me to reward you for hampering our progress. You may listen to your brother's muffled screams, unmolested, as you stand helpless before this gateway. That switch locked us out. We aren't getting that gate open by force, but I bet that mechanism plays some part in it. I think that mechanism must be connected to the gate, but that can't be the only thing stopping us, or Zagira would... I think that did it! The gate's unsealed! Let's find Liam. Sakira, if you think a little lava is going to stop me, you've got another thing coming. Musta haltia tän kestää lavaa, jos san pelissä on 50 prosenttia niinku vähentää. Lightened their burden a bit, but it might not be enough. Look for other focal crystals. Mahin musta jo. Now, the array. Oh, oh, hey, Beck, I'll get you out of here. Mary, I thought I'd never see you again. You can inform your worthless legates that we stopped the cultists. No thanks to <laughs> you. Just be grateful your little dispute didn't land you afoul of the law. Cease your meddlesome trespassing while you're ahead and get a real job. 
We did it! My little brother is safe and that backstabbing viper Zagira's plans are in shambles. Oh, I almost wish I could see what Dagon does to her for her failure. But my imagination's probably better than his anyway. We leave this useless wit to his report and count to Zora's lucky stars. My little brother is alive and well thanks to you. That's more than I could ask. We owe you. If you ever need anything, and I mean anything, you can count on me. I should get word that we're safe to our parents as soon as possible. I, I hope to see you again soon. And Liam, straight to Leowin, you hear? I just want a moment to catch my breath and thank your friends here, Mother. Thought I was finished there. Miri too. I was praying to the three that she wasn't going to share my fate. Someone was listening, because you're a real godsend. Glad to see Miri got her brother free. I see you managed to reunite Miri and Liam. I could tell the two of them were close when we met. Thank the Divines for that, because I don't know if she'd have gone to such lengths for us otherwise. No, I think she would have. I am glad you were able to rescue Liam. I could not look Miri in the face if she had fished a bitter old lizard from the mire at the cost of her own loved one. <laughs> if more dark elves were like them, there would be fewer Argonians like me. Nipa. No ni eri. Saatiin kompanjoni. Älä olis. Ready when you are. Okei. Eli se tuli tonne. Something you need to discuss? Eli se on ykköstason taistelija. Tässä on että mikä sen suhde on. Saa osaa ampua. Jousilla. Tää on vähän niinku Nightblade periaatteessa. Näillä on näköjään näillä kompanioilla omat, omat taitonsa. Vähän niinku... Okei, eli, eli jos mä teen niinku näitä kiltatehtäviä, niin tän kanssa niin se sanana avattua itse asiassa. Ja sinne voi pistää näköjään niinku ton näitä näin kostumeja, mitä on itse mennyt keräilemään. Hope we find something interesting. Niin tässä täs on nää mitä mä ostin nyt. Niin nyt sillä on niinku normaali mustia haltioiden mekko. Ää, näköjään pystyy kans valitsemaan et millä se ratsastaa. Ei mis tolla, tolla tai Kuore varmaan sinne sopisi ehkä parhaiten. Näispä. Eli niin kun ei voi ihan törkeätä määrää vaikuttaa sen varusteisiin. Ilmeisesti pystyy niin ostamaan sitä tälle tarvikkeita. Okei, jonkinlaisen outfitin tälle kyllä saa. Tota outfit ykköstä ei näkynyt. Listassa eli joo. Hey, hey, over here. 
I need some help. <laughs> Thank the eight divines. I could really use some help. The name's Bastion. Watch yourself, friend. I was accosted by a dark elf at this very spot. She went into the cave over there hours ago, but she might return at any moment. The dark elf Tanare Vels. She's a traveler I met along the road. The cave is Deep Scorn Hollow. The entrance is over by the dock. I'm here to retrieve a fellow named Quisley Silvel. His family sent me to find him. I think he's in trouble. Untie me, please. The Silvels will pay well if you help me get Quisley out of whatever trouble he's in. And I could use someone to watch my back. Interested? Oh, and check the shack. I think Tanare dropped something during our struggle. Oh, thank you. Uh, look around, would you? I'd like to examine whatever my attacker dropped. A letter. I knew I saw something fall out of Tanare's satchel when she ambushed me. Why? This is a contract. Tanare Vels is bringing Quisley in to pay debts in Leowen. Damn it! I guess that explains why Tanare knocked me out and tied me up. Of course, that God, idiot. Quisley would gamble away more than he had in his coin purse. He's done it before. <laughs> Usually begs his parents for help, though. I ought to just let the Dark Elf have him, but it would be... <sighs> dishonorable. We better see if we can catch up to her. I'd like to leave her tied up and empty-handed when I drag Quisley out of here by his arrogant nose. Probably? <sighs> yes, yes I did. We were just idly talking on the road. It never occurred to me that someone else might be looking for that petulant brat. It's not the first time I've been asked to get Quisley out of trouble. All the time. How Silvel has interests in a dozen cities. I travel all over Tamriel, looking after their business. I'm a mage by training, but I spend my days dealing with contracts and cargoes. And chasing after Quisley. Mrs. Vells fostered me from the time I was small, seeing to my education and giving me a place in their home. As I grew older, Lord Silvell employed me in the family business. What I want to do isn't important. I have an obligation. This is different for Quisley. He's not one for any sort of rough living, other than maybe going to gambling dens and taverns in the seedier parts of town. Probably? Yes, yes I did. We were just idly talking on the road. It never occurred to me that someone else might be looking for that petulant brat. It's not the first time I've been asked to get Quisley out of trouble. All the time, friend. How Silvel has interests in a dozen cities. I travel all over Tamriel, looking after their business. I'm a mage by training, but I spend my days dealing with contracts and cargoes. And chasing after Quisley. <laughs> Mrs. Vells fostered me from the time I was small. Seeing to my education and giving me a place in their home. As I grew older, Lord Silvel employed me in the family business. What I want to do... No, not that I noticed. She said to keep an eye out for smugglers along the coast and departed soon after. She liked me. I should try to hide it better, I suppose. We were raised together, more or less. Except he was the firstborn of a wealthy family. Well, it's the right thing to do. I mean... No. Tää on samoja juttuja. Oh, näin Deep Scorn Hollow. Alright, next time you're helping Maybe me with something. Maybe there's more to this place than meets the eye. 
First time I've had to look for Quisley in such a rustic location. Not his usual style. Mielenkiintoista. Entrallistoke. Sosiaalista. We find something interesting today. Something you need to discuss? What would you like to talk about? My dad's an antiquarian. He gave me an appreciation of cultural artifacts. Mom showed me how to find them. I prefer to treat such things with the respect they deserve. Change of plans? Tämä on heti niinku kolmas taso onki. Yksi kättää näitä jo tässä järjestyksessä, niin... Pistin sen tankkaamaan, koska... Miksi ei? Tässä käyn niin näköjään tuota karttaa vielä valmiina. How did Quisley stand it down here? It's not what I call luxurious. Jos se on kultisti sun kaveri, niin Aatelisilla on outoja harjoituksia jotenkin Bretonien alueella. Kyllä toi on tehokkaampi toi kompanion näköjään kuin normi tehtävässä olevat niinku kaverit, jotka me seuraavana. Ne sinne on vaan antanut jotain bonuksia esimerkiksi parhaimmillaan. My laundry. We mean you no harm. Over here. We're looking for Let someone. Let me out before these cultists kill me. Let me out too. There's a cult of Sithis in these Please, caves. If they sacrificed people. Thank you. We've been here for days. 
You should get out of here too, stranger. These people, the Art unmakers, picker. they're crazy. I think they're preparing to sacrifice people. Why would anyone want to do such a thing? I've met no one by that name, but that doesn't mean he's in here somewhere. The only non-cultist I've seen in days was a dark elf who sneaked by a short time ago. She motioned for us to wait and left without a word. I... They're cultists, I think. They follow someone called the Daughter of Sithis, and they talk about sacrifices to the Unmaker. I was on the road to Gideon when they grabbed me. Can I go now? Before we continue, let's talk a moment. Cultists? That explains some of the decoration in here. So much for the smuggler hypothesis. I didn't expect to have to fight through a nest of cultists to extract Quisley from this mess, but so be it. What's he gotten himself mixed up in now? What's there to know? They worship a god of death, darkness, and primordial chaos. Nothing good can come of that. Quisley's always getting into trouble, but it usually involves love or dice. He could be in real danger this time. Allowing Quisley to be dragged off to angry criminals is not much of an improvement. While Quisley might deserve it, I can't let Tanari Vels get him either. I want to try to grab one of these cultists and get some answers. into it this time, the idiot. You there! Stop! You'd better not lay a finger on me. You have no idea who you're dealing with. Senathar, give me patience. Could you talk to him? When I'm upset, I can't seem to put two words together. These... cultists... Have me riled. Lady Silvell says if I want to be treated like a noble, I shouldn't let my temper get the better of me. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Who are you people? What do you think you're doing here? I warn you, I am favored by the daughter of Sithis. She will avenge every injury you inflict on me. <sighs> Quisley Silvell? He belongs to Laleus now. She is the daughter of Sithis. And none dare defy her. Leave while you can. You're fools if you think you can save him from her. The daughter of Sithis and her brother are in the Fane of Scorn. Fane of Scorn. I don't know when she plans to grant Silvel the kiss of Sithis. Oh, of Sithis. Someone else is to be sacrificed today. 
I've told you what you wanted to know. Can I go? Some dark elf they caught. Even now she faces the death of the crystal fangs in the next chamber. Laleus herself presides in the fane below. I haven't been invited there yet, so I don't know for sure where it is. Now let me go. We follow Sithis, serpent of chaos, unmaker, bringer of endings. The daughter of Sithis claims this place has been sacred to the Unmaker for years uncounted. Only when all has been consumed in the jaws of the Void can the world be reborn. War tears the Empire apart. Daedric sorcery scourges the land. Chaos reigns. In times such as these, what power is greater than chaos? It seemed pretty exciting and different. Now, I'm not so sure. I didn't really expect all the killing. I don't believe him. The daughter of Sithis? The Fane of Scorn? I don't believe it. Quisley's fallen in with... with... death worshippers? Hardly. The only thing that interests Quisley is himself. Either these Sithis followers hid their true nature to lure him in, or he's so besotted with a woman that he doesn't realize he's in danger. Either way, I'd better get him out of here. I'm not sure I believe this sniveling cultist, but we shouldn't let anyone get sacrificed. Not even Tenare Vels. Let's split up. You keep going, in case he's telling the truth. I'll see if I can find out more about the daughter and the Fane. Please, I'll tell you anything you want. Just let me go. I know where a map of this place is. It's not far. Just, you know, don't hit me. Helpful of you. What else can you tell me? Problem, Sarah. Vec. Thank you, stranger. Let's talk somewhere safer. Those idiots. Oh, my skin still feels like. I've got a thousand tiny spiders biting me. That was horrible. Oh, and thank you. I don't know what someone like you was doing here, but I won't argue with Providence. Ah, the dutiful and not terribly clever mage. I'll bet he's angry with me. I took care not to inflict any permanent damage on him. And I fully intended to set him free just as soon as I finish here. It's business, not personal. Then you understand my predicament. I need Silvel if I want Lars Tull off my back. But it's not worth getting myself killed over. Help me get out of here and I'll help you. I got a look at a map, so I think I know where you can find Silvel. Not much. Lars Tull suspected that Quisley was hiding out in a smuggler's cave on the coast. I thought I'd have to check them all. Then I ran into your friend, Bastion. I knew there was something off about the smuggler story, though. It didn't fit. I found notes left behind by some unfortunate scholar. He'd apparently come here to make a survey of the ruins. I hope he had the good sense to retreat when he found fresh evidence of occult presence. More likely. He came to a bad end. I did. It's all the way down at the end of this maze, naturally. The scholar's notes hinted that it's an abandoned temple, once dedicated to Sithis. Well, probably not abandoned now. He must be in deep, if Lars Toll is willing to write off what I owe to get his claws on Quisley. Too bad for him. 
but it's a chance for me to get out of a bad situation. Lost Toll makes a good living from other people's mistakes or desperation. I borrowed gold against imagined winnings like every gambler ever. You ask a lot of questions. Not to be rude, but I'd really rather find Quisley and get out of here. These cultists already tried to sacrifice me once, after all. Good. I saw a rough map of this place before I got caught. So I think I know where to go. I'll keep out of your way if you run into more cultists. After that ritual, no condition. Thing you need to discuss? Tää on nimen DPS konfiguraatio tällä hetkellä. Vois tietysti olla luolaston ehkä parempi, että se on luokaa panssari ja sitten kyvyt, jotka niinku pitää sen kauemmin tolpilla. and a vampire in a cage. This isn't terribly helpful. There's got to be a way through. I know what I saw on the map. Maybe You're not part of this cult, are you? That isn't in here? fact, you appear to be lost. Your dark elf friend watches me with no small amount of suspicion. Perfectly understandable, but I'm not a slave to my hunger. Why are you wandering around Deep Scorn Hollow anyway? The daughter of Sithis is fond of sacrificing strangers. I have heard the name. The daughter of Sithis herself has him. These miserable Sithis... pretenders. I can show you the passage you seek. I'll consider it payback for the way they locked me up. They hid the switch for a secret door under that crate over there by the wall. Clever if one is a child. I cannot believe I thought these weak-minded fools might have a genuine insight into the dark mysteries of Sithis. Lalace is a noble from Leowen who made a game of dabbling in dark lore. As I understand it, she found this place and managed to wake a presence that had been sleeping here for ages. She surrendered to the darkness eagerly. I doubt that it cared. Fools and dilettantes bewitched by the daughter's powers. They believe she is the living embodiment of Sithis's dark will, servant of an ancient power. But the only power she serves is her own avarice and lust, like any greedy mortal. Huh. Surprisingly helpful. <laughs> Wait, would you do me a favor in return? Huh. I knew it. I never grow tired of being correct. I came here hoping the temple held answers about my condition. But the cultists discovered me as I fed upon an unwary noble from Gideon. Oops. The daughter of Sithis was intrigued, but when she realized I had not yet mastered my powers, she locked me away. Yes, that would be an elegant solution to my predicament. I'm afraid that I'm rather new to this uh, state of being. I haven't figured out that trick yet. 
I'm still capable of gratitude, stranger. I just want to be free of this place. I came here expecting something quite different. I came here... No, that makes sense. I came here... Yes, I'm still capable of gratitude. Voila, se ei ole vielä ihan valmista mäskenaria. This should take us right to the cult's hidden temple. Come on! Hold up a moment before we go on. I've been thinking. I stumbled headlong into a bad situation once already. I do try to learn from my mistakes. I've been thinking. There's a good chance we won't find Quisley Silvell alive. Nothing good. I wouldn't go so far as to say that it comes down to bringing Quisley in, or taking his place, but it's close. I really need to be free of Lars Tull. I barely persuaded him to give me this chance. I won't get another one. This may sound ghoulish, but if Quisley is dead, I'd like his signet ring. It's big gold and set with rubies if i bring it back to last tull it will show that i held up my end of our bargain and he would take it in payment of my debt someone's coming oh there you are i'm afraid i wasted my time on that cultist he knew nothing glad i caught up to you oh you put the fear of the gods into our captive cultist he was sobbing on the floor when i gave up and left I did meet a surprisingly talkative vampire, though. He told me which way you went. And seriously, do not turn your back on Tanare. Our weepy friend told me that Quisley's quite taken with this daughter of Sithis. Figures. My guess is he told her his family is wealthy, so she's keeping him alive for ransom. We'll probably find them in the shrine they call the Fane of Scorn. She seems like the sort who expects the worst. I remain optimistic. I don't always get along with Quisley, but I don't want him to end up sacrificed by the cult, or turned into some crime boss's object lesson. Not at the cost of his life. I'll figure out something. I always do. But just in case, warn Tanari that she'd better not try anything foolish when we get Quisley. She caught me off guard once. It won't happen again. You're not even going to apologize, are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Just keep your distance from Quisley. He's my responsibility. Opas se lähti nopeasti. Maybe I should have joined the buoyant armagers. Eka. I'm no use in a fight right now. I'll keep back. Quisley! Bastion, what are you doing here? Go away! I'll just... Oh dear. I'll get out of the way! What 
on the docket today. Really? See that? Arise, my brother. No. Kill these trespassers. before he runs off again, the little bastard. Dare you? Lelise would never have hurt me. She said so. <laughs> <laughs> she murders people. You, you idiot. You were probably next. I'm not talking to you, Bastion, nor to that rude dark elf that just laughed at me. You spoiled everything. You and that lumbering oaf my father insists on sending to make my life miserable. And whoever that dark elf is, barging in and ruining my life. Who do you people think you are? Well, that's... That's just your opinion. Everybody here treated me as a guest of honor. And Lelace, the daughter of Sithis, chose me to be her consort. She told me that she'd give me the kiss of Sithis soon. Why would you ruin this for me? That is no concern... Wait... Did you say Lars Tull? Is that why the Dark Elf's here? <laughs> I've seen her in his headquarters, oh dear. I may owe him some gold. I can't believe they sent Bastion after me again. They treat me as if I were a wayward child. I am perfectly capable of managing my own affairs. I refuse to go. Claim me. I am not some sack of flour to be bargained over. Oh, very well. Bastion works for me, indirectly. I'll go with him. I can write a promissory note for the Dark Elf to deliver to her thug of a boss. He's a terrible person. Bastion doesn't seem very fond of Quisley. I can't imagine why. <laughs> we compared notes while you were talking with that simpering idiot. Bastion said he might have an idea that would solve things for both of us. Years ago... I lost everything trying to get my brother out of a fishy trading scheme. Lars Tull offered to help me. I'm still paying for it. It would be grand to be done with Lars Tull and to pull one over him at the same time. If Bastion's willing to work with me, and perhaps forget about the knocked out and tied up business, I think we might have room for a compromise. Once we get Quisley out of here, I'm done. I've paid my debt to his family three times over. All right. I think I know how to sort this out. If Tanare is prepared to listen, that is. I'm willing to overlook the knock on the head to settle this. First, we need to get Quisley out of Blackwood. Tanare doesn't have anything personal against him. Well, no more than anyone else who meets him. But the criminals she'd bring Quisley to might kill him. I'll threaten to tell his parents about this whole affair unless he cooperates and goes straight back to Daggerfall. Quisley knows that Lord Silvel can cut him off. It's the only threat that actually scares him. He would have to earn a living. I think we can all walk away from this. <laughs> we ship Quisley home, secretly. Then we make sure that Tanare has something she can take back to Lars Tull. Thank you, friend. I think Lord Silvel would agree that you've earned your payment. What do you think, Tanare? Are you willing to give it a try? I'll need to bring Lars Tull proof of Quisley's demise. What kind of proof would you need? I'm clearly not 
dead! If I bring Quisley's signet ring to Lars Tull, he'll believe me. That's what I was thinking. I'll tell the Silvels that Quisley sold the ring to pay his debt. I'm right here! <laughs> that ring should work. It might even cover most of Quisley's debt. What? My ring? I'm not giving you a damn thing! Bastion, keep that woman away from me! Ha! <laughs> Here you go. I'll make sure Quisley understands to stay away from Blackwood. Thank you. This should clear my account with Lars Tull. And perhaps clear yours with this ingrate and his family too. We should leave this place. I'll see Quisley on his way when he comes around. Velho jolo jo, selva. Tuli kat tatuoinut kyllä. Hmm. 